What's better to get into, affiliate marketing or print on demand? This video is purely based on a monetary and time level and not what you would get more enjoyment out of. I recently did a video where I talked about loving the work that you actually do, especially considering that people spend 40 years doing a job. So it makes sense to make sure you actually like that job, but this video is not about that. This video is literally just a down to earth comparison between two very possible business choices, affiliate marketing and print on demand. Let's get right into it. Let me just quickly explain the two different businesses in a couple of seconds. You've got affiliate marketing, which is where you sell someone else's product and you get some form of commission for doing that. Each product, tool, program or service that you sell, you will get commission on that sale. The commission can range from zero to 100%. It varies drastically. For example, if you were promoting uh, Adobe Premiere Pro or Adobe Photoshop, right, you would get 85% commission on the first month um, for that, for the customer. So if someone basically bought Premiere Pro through me, I would get $17 because it's usually $20 a month just for the first month. And then that's it. All right. And every single time I, every single time someone buys from me, I'll get another $17. So that's basically what affiliate marketing is. It's very, very simple. Print on demand, on the other hand, is different, right? Print on demand is you would create your designs. You'd put them on t-shirts, face masks, stickers, whatever they may be. You'd upload them to websites like Teespring or Redbubble, Amazon Merch. Again, it doesn't matter what they are and people would buy through those platforms and you would get the profit on those products that were purchased. So those are the two different types of businesses. Before we get into this, let me just quickly break down the four categories. I'm gonna be talking about the costs, I'm gonna be talking about the ease of business, I'm gonna be talking about the marketing and then I'm gonna be talking about the lifespan of both businesses and then we're gonna you know, come up with the verdict and I'll let you decide which one you think is better. So if you want to treat them both as proper companies here in the UK, that's setting up a limited company, that's setting up a business bank account. If you want to treat both affiliate marketing and print on demand the same, then it will cost, last time I checked, 12 pounds to actually create a limited company. And then a business bank account is free for the first year, but then six pounds a month after the first year. And that's with Barclays. Again, that's, I know Barclays. And those are pretty much the cost. Now the only added cost for print on demand is if you want to use a website like Shopify and pay $29 per month to actually use it. But other than that, those are the only costs associated with these two businesses. Category two is ease of business. So this is a debate depending on who you are. It's completely personal, but personally, I think affiliate marketing is an easier business because I find creating a video or creating a blog post much easier than coming up with uh, t-shirt ideas, coming up with niches, coming up with the marketing, creating the designs, uploading the designs. I think the process of just creating a blog post, reviewing a product is far, far easier to do. But again, I have to stress, this is completely personal. Someone like you, you may find writing a blog or creating a video very, very difficult and actually creating designs, researching tags, titles, descriptions, you know, niches, all that kind of stuff. You might find that much, much easier. So this is kind of like, this isn't, one is better than the other, it's just dependent on who you are. I need to add, affiliate marketing would and should get easier over time because if you have a blog post or a YouTube channel, you will get viewers and then you'll get more viewers and you'll get more viewers and over time, people will come back and read and watch what you have to say, right? And you build basically an audience. Whereas with t-shirts, if you launch a t-shirt in a new niche in a, with a new design or whatever, then you're going to have to do all the marketing again or all the tag, research, description, title. It's gonna to have to all happen again. Now, of course, if you build up a shop with print on demand, that should get easier the more you do it. But majority of people will just upload their products to Redbubble or Teespring or Merch by Amazon, in which case it doesn't necessarily get easier down the line. Category three is marketing. This is actually quite a tough one because they both pretty much have the same marketing. If you think about it, both will use Instagram, maybe YouTube, Facebook, even Pinterest, right? Both and blogs, whatever it may be, right? Sharing Facebook, anything, right? So both, both businesses would use the same concept when it comes to marketing. So in that sense, they're probably like pretty much the same. However, the biggest difference is which one is actually easier to market. So both take the same marketing as we just said, but in terms of which is easier to market, you've got something like you know, affiliate marketing, right? If you are um, doing affiliate marketing and you are writing a blog about the latest, I don't know, iPhone or whatever, if you hit on trendy topics, then 
it's much easier to market and it will get a lot of organic searches. For example, when my YouTube channel was much, much, much smaller, I made a video on the latest iPhone at the time and that video got thousands of views, even though like that was more, that, I didn't even have thousands of subscribers at the time. So just because you're making a trendy topic, it's much easier to market it. And you could say the same for t-shirts, except the difference is with marketing, it's it's much easier for affiliate marketing because with t-shirts, you can't necessarily go on trendy topics because they might be copyrighted. Someone might have done the design already. With affiliate marketing, you don't really have to worry about copywriting because you, you can make it a, a review. It's your opinion on you know the latest iPhone. That's fine, but you can't slap an iPhone on a t-shirt and sell it because that, that, that that's copyright. So in terms of marketing, like I said, they both have pretty much the same marketing strategies. It's just, I do feel that affiliate marketing would be just slightly easier to actually market and get more views than print on demand. And category four, lifespan. The lifespan of a print on demand company, and I've said this before, I don't think is actually that long. I think it could be around six months, not of a company, sorry, of a design. I think it's around six months. And the reason I say this is because even if you look at the major players in the fashion industry, they change their lines every six months to work with the season. So unless you have you know, an evergreen design that can go on forever and ever, which I haven't seen that much of, then I would say you're gonna to have to continuously bring out new designs if you wanna to continue to make money. Now, the lifespan of an affiliate marketing company or business is just slightly different. It totally depends on the product that you're um, affiliating yourself with. For example, if you have a YouTube channel and you create videos on how to use Photoshop and you have the links in the description, that's gonna last you years and years and years because firstly, you can update those links to the latest Photoshop whenever you want. Secondly, Photoshop doesn't change so drastically that those tutorials won't still be valid, right? So that can last quite a long time. However, if you decide to, you know, create reviews on the most trendy products at the time, yes, in a year's time, those products might not be trendy anymore. They might not get as many sales, in which case you probably won't get that much affiliate commission. However, there are always those people who will prefer to buy a product when it's a bit older. For example, an iPhone, right? People will watch an iPhone 6 review um, and then go and see if they want to uh, buy it, basically. Right, so with, with print on demand, look, it can last a long time. Some people say it does. I personally think it doesn't. I think it lasts a couple of months and then you've got to do another design, another design, another design, another design, right? Whereas I think affiliate marketing, it's kind of evergreen because your content is out there. People will be reading it. So let's discuss the verdict. Which one is better? Well, on paper, it feels like Affiliate marketing is better. However, that's not necessarily the case because we're missing out one large factor and that is the enjoyment factor. And this is something that I can't compare because it's completely personal to every individual. So now that you've got all of those facts, right, that I've just stated, you have got to decide which one you think you would find more enjoyable. Would you find affiliate marketing more enjoyable or would you find print on demand more enjoyable? And if you don't know because you haven't tried one of them, then try one for two weeks, try the other for two weeks and just see which one you like to do a bit more. Don't expect any sales in that first month and don't let, don't let money or sales be the, 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 the deciding factor of which one you actually go for. Personally, I like affiliate marketing. I focus more time on affiliate marketing because I enjoy creating blogs. I enjoy creating videos. I enjoy doing that a lot more than I do creating t-shirts. And it just so happens that it works out in my favor as well. So, that's what I would do. What would you do? Let me know in the comments, what would you decide affiliate marketing or print on demand based solely on everything I have said in this video? And I just want to quickly add as a side note, before I say goodbye, if you're thinking, well, with, with affiliate marketing, if I'm creating reviews on products, there is so many other people who create reviews on these products. The competition is just way, way up there. How am I gonna be able to get into the market? Well, let me tell you, in terms of the review, it's based on your personality. So when I watch someone like talk about an iPhone or a Tesla or something, I can watch five or six reviews from different people on the exact same product because I like to hear people's takes on it. I like to hear everyone's different opinion on it. So even though you might be making the one millionth review on the iPhone 12, it doesn't matter because you will be bringing that uniqueness, which is you. So people could actually you know, enjoy that and actually watch that. So that's that out of the bag. In terms of print on demand competition, well, you don't really have that problem because you don't want to copy people exactly, otherwise borderline copyright, in which case you're creating brand new design. So hopefully that shouldn't be such an issue. It's just finding that t-shirt, finding that gap that people are searching for that doesn't yet exist and that people wanna buy. 
So look, I hope you liked that video. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments down below which you'd pick and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.